Today topic is wireless LAN basic configuration. In this video, I'm going to configure a basic configuration of wireless and we will see how we configure a small LAN and connect different devices with the wireless. Let's start with this. Okay. In this lab, what term we used, which equipment we used and which simulation tool we used, we will discuss here. Okay. We are using uh, SSID, SSID use we, no, we, can, we can use any word but we, here we are using CSID, we can use A, B, C, D, any, any name we can use, okay. And then we use authentication, authentication algorithm use WEP and then web key normally for authentication. Here is we going to configure the password key. Now equipment used in this lab, we will configure all the following devices, we, we will use access point as a base station and then we use PC with uh, wireless card and then laptop with wireless card, tablet, built-in wireless card, mobile also have a built-in wireless card then we will use switch 2960 and then we use PC with ethernet card uh, also use stay through cable for connectivity between switch access point and PC and here we are using uh, different IPs why we are using IPs this is private range okay each ip we are using for each other device so why we are using this is a basically without ip uh, all devices can connect but cannot communicate to each other so that's why we're using this ip range okay we are using uh, 192.168.0 series and with subnet 255.255.255.0 okay and the simulation tool in this lab is a Cisco packet tracer. Let's start with the lab. Okay, here uh, I'm already uh, make a area with the BSS, which we already discussed. Now let's start with the devices. I'm going to configure devices here. Uh, here I'm going to down there. Uh, there is a wireless device. I'm going to select here. There is a wireless. Uh, I'm going to select a basic wireless device here. And then I'm going to put end devices. So you can see here on the left side end devices and you can choose here. I'm choosing uh, like this one PC and one laptop and then I'm going to one wireless tablet and then one smart device. Okay. So right now you can see smart devices and access point both tablet are connected because they have a by default configuration that's why they are connected let's change the setting i'm going to change the setting of uh, this access point okay here is the access point okay you can see here we can on or off from here device like this here is off right now is on okay when once on it's look like a green so i'm going to configure wireless access point so you can see there is a two port this port is basically a ethernet port and other port is a wireless port so i'm going to wireless port and change ssid with the csid okay and also configure a, for authentication i'm going to configure web key so i'm going to one two three four five six seven eight nine zero like this and that's it this is the only configuration for the wireless access side okay so right now you can see once I change the configuration, the both devices disconnected with the access point. So now I'm to connect this devices as well. So I'm going to configure this, click here and going to con config and see here there is a wireless card under the interface. We just click here and then I have to put here CSID, SSID and then I'm going to key. We have to put both things SSID and key without key it will not able to connect with the access point and then I have to give an IP okay what's the IP for we will use with this uh, tablet I think I uh, let me check that I, uh, tablet IP is okay 4 and mobile okay the mobile is a 5 IP so I have to configure it's a mobile 192.168.0.5 and just click here then automatically uh, they show the subnet mask just we need to this configure okay okay 
Now I'm going to close this. So I'm going to next step is basically uh, tablet PC. So I'm going to configure tablet key PC. So here you can see wireless. I'm going to put the SSID, CSID, and then put a key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Okay. And just uh, and uh, also need to configure IP for the connectivity. 192.168.0.4 and then submit mask now this it's okay and you will see okay while oh, okay now it's not connected so i'm going to configure bo uh, both these devices as well so i'm just click on a laptop so here is a configuration file no let me see okay here uh, you can see uh, there is no wireless access card so i have to uh, replace the <coughs> ethernet card with the wireless so first we i have to you can see there is a zoom in there is a power button i have to off this see light is off now i have to change this ethernet card and put a wireless card here the this card is wpc 300 and n4 uh, uh, it's a standard 80211M. Uh, we already studied this, so okay. We have to uh, must on PC this. I'm going to on this and then configure this. I'm going to hit wireless IP here or oh, key here as well. And then I put to IP. 192.168.0.3 let's see yes i'm going to connect this so you can see there is a um, the laptop is connected with the wireless i'm also going to connect this so i have to put first uh, this pc power off you can see here i'm going to power off and then i'm i have to replace this okay and then put a module here for wireless module wireless card and then again on this pc and configuration go to the wireless internet put the csit and web key here one two three four five six seven eight nine zero you can do on a both way but right now i'm going to configure here so static i'm going to 192.168.0.2 and then IP okay now I'm going to is finish so configuration for this let's see is PC is connected in the meanwhile I'm going to connect one more PC on a cable network I put here PC and then I'm going to put switch here you can select switch on a second and then put like any switch here and then i'm going to uh, connect this switch and wireless because uh, this need to a uh, cable so i'm going to put here whenever we have a different uh, devices so always use straight through cable i'm going to put here i'm using ethernet and then i'm going here these are all interfaces i'm going to this interface and the same way i'm going to one more uh, second interface and then I'm going to port zero port zero is basically in access point is the ethernet okay okay it's now it's connected but you can see it's still not up why because i need to give a ip on this pc without ip it's not going to connect this network so i, I have to give ip on this i'm going to config and then here is the ethernet i'm not using wireless ethernet i'm going to put a, a static ip 192.168.0. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Uh, I think one. Sorry, I have to put this here. And now, just finish. Okay. So right now you can see it's up. So we will try. It's working.
all the network is or not so i'm going to you can see here uh, pdu i'm putting here pdu from here to this pc see you can see here is successfully connected okay means su successfully is working okay it's IC icmp icmp means as a ping traffic we are uh, going to send to this and we will check furthermore again i am doing like this to this you can see is uh, successful and i'm again i'm going to connect the connectivity with this so like here to here so you can see it's a successful and then i'm going to again uh, one more thing again here pc uh, smartphone to smartphone to uh, ethernet connected pc okay so you can see here is also pc10 is connected this was the lab totally for basic wireless configuration okay thank you for watching this lab configuration i hope you understand basic configuration of wireless how it's working if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and kindly share with other as well thank you so much